Hello, fellow Dallas Cowboys fans. Welcome to your premier source for all things Cowboys. If you're as passionate about America's team as we are, you're in the right place. We're dedicated to keeping you on the edge of your seat with the latest news, updates, and exclusive insights. But before we jump into today's exciting Cowboys update, we've got a special request for you. Subscribe to our channel right now. Your subscription means the world to us, and it's a crucial step toward our goal of reaching 3,000 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button and be sure to turn on your notifications so you never miss what's coming next. Now, let's dive into the latest news. We all saw it that the trade deadline came and went, and the Dallas Cowboys stood pat, just as owner Jerry Jones assured us they would. Jones emphasized, I see us right now having a pat hand. And the question on everyone's mind is, why? While the Cowboys currently hold a 5-2 record and are among the NFC's top contenders for the Super Bowl, it's essential to note that their rivals in the race didn't sit idle. Teams like the Seattle Seahawks, Philadelphia Eagles, Detroit Lions, and the San Francisco 49ers, all strong contenders in the NFC, made moves before the trade deadline to bolster their rosters. For instance, the Eagles acquired Pro Bowl safety Kevin Byard from the Tennessee Titans, while the Seahawks welcomed defensive tackle Leonard Williams from the New York Giants. The 49ers added defensive end Chase Young from the Washington Commanders, and the Lions secured receiver Donovan Peoples-Jones from the Cleveland Browns. These moves signal their commitment to improving. So why did the Cowboys stay put? First, they genuinely like their current roster. Their 5-2 record demonstrates the team's potential, and they have high hopes for the season. However, the decision also revolves around the art of the deal. The Cowboys' draft capital was limited, with just five picks in the 2024 NFL Draft. They possess selections in rounds 1-3 and 2 in the seventh round. Notably, they lack picks in rounds 4-6 due to previous trades. For instance, the Cowboys traded their fourth-round pick to the San Francisco 49ers to acquire quarterback Trey Lance. They also traded their sixth-round pick to the Houston Texans as part of the deal to get wide receiver Brandon Cooks. Additionally, they traded their 2024 fifth-round draft pick to the Kansas City Chiefs last year for a sixth-round selection. While they'll likely receive compensatory picks for 2023 free agent losses, this is what they have to work with for now. Hence, the Cowboys weren't likely to part with their second or third round picks to make a significant trade. Their strategy was to see if any deals came to them rather than initiating trade calls. So, while their rivals improved, the Cowboys chose to stand pat and believe in their current roster. The question remains, will this roster be enough to end the 28-year Super Bowl drought? Only time will tell. In other news, the Dallas Cowboys have signed Canadian offensive lineman Dakota Shepley to their practice roster. Shepley, who was previously in training camp with the Indianapolis Colts, brings experience and depth to the team's offensive line. The Cowboys currently sit in second place in the NFC East with a 5-2 record. They are on a journey to reclaim their dominance and build on their historic rivalry with the Philadelphia Eagles. Despite the Eagles' previous success, recent performances have raised questions about their team's strength this year. For Cowboys fans, there's a bright side. The team has played well against the Eagles in recent matchups, winning four of the last five games. The dominant play of Dak Prescott has been a significant factor in these victories. In 11 career games against the Eagles, Prescott has thrown for 19 touchdowns and 2,757 yards, winning eight of these contests. In Week 9, the Cowboys will face the Eagles once again. The Eagles' dynamic duo of Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown poses a significant challenge. Brown has been one of the NFL's top receivers, with over 100 yards in six straight games. This historic rivalry promises another thrilling matchup, and fans can't wait to see if Prescott and the Cowboys will maintain their winning streak against the Eagles. So, that's a wrap for today's Cowboys news. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, as your support is crucial to our growth and helping us reach our goal of 3,000 subscribers. Stay tuned for more exciting updates and news about the Dallas Cowboys. 
Until next time.